is the Jason Walker Show. Two-time National Sports Media Association Montana Sportscaster of the Year and three-time loser, the Jason Walker Show. The best local and statewide sports coverage featuring the biggest guests from Montana. Flint Rasmussen uh, joining us here on the Jason Walker Show. He's freaking exhausting, too. You used to dance a lot more. Yeah, I know, lady. I'm 51 years old now. The NAI Hall of Famer Mike Van Dees joining us here Jason Walker Show. And is it just a deal where quarterbacks have to be good golfers? Well, that's all they have time for. They don't work out. They don't lift weight. <laughs> they don't do anything else. They might as well go get on the golf course at least have some fun. And from across the country. Doug Gottlieb, our guest here on the Jason Walker Show. End of the day, remember, it, it's your show. It's got your name on it. Howie Mandel, our guest here. Jason Walker, deal or no deal. The Jason Walker Show. Hey, what up? Happy Thursday. The Jason Walker Show. Hanging out inside the man cave with you and getting ready for a big weekend of football. Huge, huge weekend of football from high school to college. Oh, excited. Just in Montana. Forget about the other states. Just in Montana, it's the big one. State championship weekend. You can watch the show on Facebook and Twitter. You can go to uh, jasonwalkershow.com, also on Rumble, and uh, like 22 different audio platforms, including Anchor as well. Spotify, Apple, Google, all that fun stuff. Uh, coming up today, Bozeman High coach Levi Weshi will join us and break down tomorrow night's state double A championship game. On this day in history, much more. The walk up is presented by Montana Custom Log Homes, the premier log home company in the industry. Three distinct divisions so you can create the log home of your dreams and your budget. 15 different floor plans. You got milled, handcrafted timber frame. Check it all out at yourcustomlog.com to get started today. So mentioned it is uh, state championship weekend. We'll get to that. It's also playoff weekend for uh, the Frontier for the one team that made it. Carroll College is uh, traveling out to second-ranked Grandview, Iowa. And uh, the Saints are the 15 seed. Now, last time the Saints played in Iowa, 2020 in that fake spring season. Uh, where they lost 55 nothing to Morningside. Morningside ranked number one again this year. Carroll is 8-2, and two, and I didn't realize this, but it's been eight years since Carroll's won a playoff game. 49 nothing over Valley City State in Helena 2014, I called that, November 22nd. And then they lost in a heartbreaker to uh, Southern Oregon in the snow and the cold. In what 45 42 was that game? Austin Dodge, legit. That's the year Southern Oregon won the championship. They finished runner up the next year. The Raiders did. I saw that their coach, Charlie Hall, were stepped down after six years. Always enjoyed working with Charlie Hall out at Southern Oregon. Uh, let's see. Carroll was three and two and his uh, five straight wins. So. Uh, by far the best season since that 2014 year when they finished 10 and two, and uh, that would that 2014 game, holy cow, man! I remember it vividly. It was like 20 below. They had this. They had a uh, couple feet of snow on the field. They had to plow the field twice before the game, and uh, did a little work on it at halftime. But man, it was it was. A great, great football game. It looked like Carroll was going to roll, and then I think, was it 24 points? Southern Oregon scored in the final quarter to get the win. Unbelievable game. That was uh, Whoever won that quarterfinal matchup was going to win the national championship, and it just happened to be Southern Oregon that year. But the Saints, uh, talking to one of their big supporters today, said it's a big weekend. You got Cat Grizz. He goes, Cat Grizz? You got State Double A and, and Carroll. <laughs> you got Capital taking on Bozeman. We'll talk to Levi Weshi, Bozeman High Coach, coming up. But uh, one of the sponsors of the show today, I was talking with him. So he'll be at the Bruin game. He'll be at the, uh, well, he won't be at the Carroll game, but he'll be at the Bruin game for tomorrow night. There's no question about that. 
that is going to be a barn burner too. I think it's going to be low scoring. I think uh, two great defenses going at it, Capital and Bozeman High, the top two defenses in the state. You've got running back galore for both teams. You've got quarterbacks that can play well for both teams. Good defensive lines, good offensive lines, good secondaries, good line. It's just going to be an all-around good football game. Capital one, I think 28-21 in week one of the season. But we'll have more from uh, Levi Weshi coming up. You also have the uh, Saturday state championship games in uh, high school. You have big ones, big, big ones. And uh, I'll tell you all about it as soon as I can pull up that that thing. (laughs) In uh, Class A, this is a good one. I've seen Billing Central in person. They're really good. I've not seen Lewistown, but they're really good too. Billing Central beat the defending champs Hamilton 42-6 to last week. Lewistown over Polson by 17. They can both score. They both have decent defenses. Uh, Billing Central at Lewistown in Class A tomorrow is going to be a good one, or on Saturday at 1. Class B, you've got uh, Loyola at Florence. No number one seeds in Class B. Loyola a 4, Florence a 2. Uh, in 8-man... Kind of wish I was at this one. Belt at St. Ignatius. St. Ignatius put a 54 spot on Fairview last week in the semis. Of course, they gave up 48. Belt, best defense in the state in uh, eight man. Shut out Culbertson, who had the best offense. Uh, let's see. And then in six man, this would be a good one to be at too. Broadview Lavina at Big Sandy. Broadview Lavina scored in the Last 30 seconds or so to beat Medicine Lake Freud. The two-time defending state champs in six-man, so there'll be a new six-man champ this year. Could have a repeat in class, uh, or in uh, eight-man. No, new state champ in eight-man, too. You'll have a new uh, state champ in class A and double A, and you could repeat in class B if Florence were to beat Loyola. So, good Good stuff there. Can't wait. Uh, let's see here. Got hockey coming up. Butte Cobras, Helena Bighorns, taken to the ice. Yeah, Friday at Butte. Saturday will be in Helena, the ice arena. 7.30 puck drops for both. Bighorns are off to a 13-3, 1-1 and Butte and Sheridan are each 9-8. And one, and uh, Bighorns five zero and one on the uh, at home, and eight three and zero and one on the road. So that'll be a good one down there in Butte on Friday, and then uh, Saturday back in uh, Helena for ice hockey and a three HL action. So college game day bus rolled into town to Bozeman today. Looked like a decent crowd and welcomed it. I saw that the the setup on uh, the practice field over there at MSU, it's going to be right next to the tennis bubbles, next to the field house. So it'll be basically kitty corner from Bobcat Stadium, uh, closer to the brick than uh, the stadium. But fans are going to be started to let in at 5 in the morning. And the show starts at 7. So you get there early to get your seat, get your signs clean. Signs, please. I know they check them. Um, it'll be interesting to see if we have any frontier school signs or or flags behind the uh, at college game day. First time in Montana. First time in the Big Sky. Saw Reese Davis, host of game day, uh, posted. Desmond Howard was flying out today as well. And uh, it'll be fun. It'll be a fun uh, atmosphere down there on Saturday morning. I could go to game day, but I, don't, I just don't want to go up to get up that early, right? Oh, Cats, Grizz, who you got? You can tweet us at Jay Walker Sports. Uh, who you got for the state championships? You can t- let us know there as well, or email jason at jasonwalkershow.com. All right, we'll take a break. We'll come back, and when we do, we will check in with Bozeman High football coach going for a second 
state double A title in four years. Levi Weshi will join us when we come back here on the Jason Walker Show. Strength, beauty, grit, superior craftsmanship. Our homes have it all. At Montana Custom Log Homes, if you can dream it, we can build it. With three divisions and over 50 years experience, we've got you covered. From a showcase home to a small cabin, we make your vision a reality. Because every cowboy wants a castle for his queen. Montana Custom Log Homes, crafting homes that last for generations. L&P Grocery offers Boulder a convenient shopping experience, whether you're stopping in for a few things or stocking up for the week ahead. From fresh produce and meat to all the staples you need to feed your family, you'll find it here. L&P Grocery is also proud to have partnerships with local brands and carry products unique to the area. Stop by to exchange propane tanks, pick up fishing tackle, grab your prescription, or get your photo taken at the Pitcher Kiosk. They're delighted to be the one-stop shop for local area Boulder residents who want to support local business. Visit lnpgrocery.com and at 215 North Main Street. Yes, it's true that Montana is a long way from the Gulf Coast, but you can bring that Cajun flavor home with a stop at Cafe Zydeco. From po' boys to classic sandwiches, Cafe Zydeco has all the best Cajun in town. Are you in the mood for seafood gumbo or crawfish etouffee? Maybe you're craving jambalaya with some shrimp and grits. Head in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or call ahead for pickup or delivery. Cafe Zydeco will fix all your southern cravings, even on a chilly Montana day. Cafe Zydeco is a proud sponsor of the Jason Walker Show. Summer, the season to work hard, play hard. The days are heating up and getting longer. The smell of fresh cut grass, the hot sun on your skin. <laughs> we kidding. We all know you're really thinking about having fun and relaxing at the Copper Club Casino. Meet your friends for a cold one. Play a fiver or two. When you want great service, cold drinks, and fun entertainment, this is the place. The Copper Club Casino, where everybody knows your name any time of year. On Euclid, across from Mobile Center, the Copper Club Casino. Do you love to look at photos of Montana from animals to landscapes and more? Are you looking for a place to get your senior pictures or family portraits done? Are you a business owner looking to upgrade the decor in your offices? Well, look no further than Mark LaRoe Photography. Mark has been shooting beautiful photos all across the Treasure State from rodeos to portraits and would love to work with you. Visit MarkLaRoePhotography.com to see many masterpieces of his work. Then give him a call to schedule your own photo shoot. Or to purchase one of his fantastic pieces, stop by Spirit of the Big Sky Gallery on Custer in Helena. MarkLaRoePhotography.com Who doesn't love being number one? When your team's dominating the standings, or your favorite band rocks the charts at number one, it feels good, right? Kind of like how it feels when you have auto insurance with State Farm. Because making you feel like number one is an honor your local State Farm agent takes seriously. Through the good times and not so good, your State Farm agent's proud to be here to help life go right. Call State Farm agent Mike Miller in Helena today. Fall is officially here and now is the perfect time to get your rig tuned up before the big hunt. That means a lift kit from Auto Concepts. An Auto Concepts lift kit will help take you places only the animals can go. And when you do get that big one, make sure you have help to get a home with a winch to pull it out. Or maybe you'll be a good friend and help pull someone out of the snowbank. Check out AutoConceptsHelena.com for more ideas. Auto Concepts, the auto enhancement professionals. Everyone knows about Dinners Done Right and the convenience of the cook and carry cuisines. It's so easy to just stop by and you have something for dinner that night. But there's also one more thing you need to know about. Dinners Done Right Grab and Go Salad Bar. Yes, I said salad bar. Always the freshest ingredients along with a daily soup and nacho bar too. So the next time you are in a rush or you just want to eat healthy, stop by Dinners Done Right for the soup, salad, and nacho bar. For monthly menus and more info, it's dinnersdoneright.com. Storewide savings is what you'll find when you shop for new home furnishings at Rockers Furniture. This means tremendous values on Helena's largest in-stock selection of home furnishings. When you shop Rockers, you'll find storewide savings on the furniture you want for every room in your home. And you'll also find our selection of Serta Eye Comfort, the most comfortable beds in Helena. 12-month financing is available with approved credit on most purchases over $289. Ask for details. You'll find storewide savings at Rockers Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. 
Welcome back to the Jason Walker Show. Welcome back, Jason Walker Show. A Thursday, we'll give you maybe give you a state championship predictions coming up. Cat Grizz game as well. It's been we haven't made predictions all year. It's kind of weird. Uh, I was out and about today. The little one had ballet class this morning. We've got her in ballet and gymnastics. She's four. But got to gotta get the juices flowing early and often, right? Early on. And uh, she loves both. Absolutely loves both. So just trying to let her experience a lot of different things, you know? I wish I had taken gymnastics or ballet growing up, honestly. Um, just would have helped with balance and flexibility and gosh everything else oh and it's funny to go to gymnastics class and watch her little class there's like four of them her teacher um pretty awesome but uh, just to watch them you know try to do cartwheels and all that fun stuff right now it's uh it's pretty cute so speaking of flexibility Coaches have to have it, especially when they do media interviews. Levi Weshi, no different than any other. Caught up with him early this morning to talk about the game tomorrow night. Capital hosting Bozeman. Here's the Hawks head coach on the Mike Miller State Farm Hotline. One. All right, Coach, a, uh, a very nice win for you guys last week in uh, the semifinals. Take me through that game. Uh, well, you know, I think we... Got to a pretty rough start, to be honest with you. You know, we fumbled our first play from scrimmage um, inside the 20, and um, <clears throat> they recovered it, and we were able to uh, kind of send our defense out there, and they kind of stiffened up a little bit, gave up the first down, but then forced a field goal. And then after that, you know, um, a little trouble finding some traction on offense, and then about the – End of the first quarter, we really started getting our run game going, and um, you know I felt like kind of dominated the line of scrimmage from there on out, and we were going up in the half, up fourteen three, and then um, you know forced a couple turnovers that we were able to capitalize on, and um, you know uh, had a touchdown call back in the third quarter after a turnover, which was unfortunate, kind of killed the drive, but we we're able to score really early in the fourth, and then late in the fourth to, to get to twenty eight. I thought our defense was amazing. Um, we really limited what they did offensively. I think we held them to 140 yards. And, um, you know, offensively we ran for about 260. So, um, you know, it was it was fun seeing uh, a different uh, style of offense. Maybe not style of offense, but a different way for us to win. We've been leaning pretty heavily on the passing attack the last few weeks, and our ground game really came to life again last week. You mentioned your defense. Quade Ash had that, uh, I guess, a pick six. And, that kind of set the tone, I guess, for defense the rest of the way. Yeah, that was huge. Um, you know, we had actually driven all the way down to the one or whatever, and we got stopped on the one on fourth down. It was frustrating. And uh, very next play, Quake picks it off at like the eight and just jogs in. And I think the ball, he was surprised by the ball more than anything. <laughs> <laughs> it really looked like he understood exactly what was going on, but I think reflexes took over and he gets in the end zone. Uh, but it was a really good moment for him. You know, he's been a very consistent player for us all year long. and uh, doesn't get a whole lot of love, but, man, I think he's really good and um, was happy for him to get a chance to make a big play. You talk about your running attack last week, uh, Brady Casagranda, and, and leading the leading the charge. Um, he had a touchdown as well in that game, and and and, and then you, of course, when you have Rocky Lencioni out there, anything can happen uh, on on the good side of the ball for sure. Uh, yeah, you know, and and Connor and I actually ran for twenty one, had twenty one carries and one hundred and forty yards too. So he actually took the bulk of our carries this game. We split time between Connor and, and uh, Brady, and they do a great job kind of being our one-two punch. And between those two and about 60 yards from Jake, we were able to put up a good amount of rushing yards and control the line of scrimmage. It's going to be a little different this week. You're facing quite possibly the best, one of the best defenses. Well, you guys are the top two defenses in the state of Montana. Um, you saw Capital early in the season, as we talked to Levi Weshi here, the Bozeman high football coach. 
what changes from that first game outside of the weather situation? Oh, I think there's a lot of things that changed. I think they've really improved in some facets, you know. Um, they throw the ball extremely well. I think it's a very underrated part of their, their game is they've got two quarterbacks that swing it well. They've got a really good group of receivers. Um, you know, the Opitz kid is one of the top tight ends in the state um, right there with our kid, Luke Smith. So, um, you know, I think that, that changes a little bit. I think they're, them being able to throw it, I feel like, a little more consistently. Um, changes the game plan a little bit, but also I think we, we've improved and um, we're running the football better than we did the first time we played them. We struggled a little bit around the ball, um, and you know we've only I think we've only thrown five picks this year, but two of them were in that first game against them. So I'm hoping that you know we protect the quarterback a little better than we did the first time, and that we don't um, have some turnovers that hurt us because we threw a pick inside the inside the red zone that first game that they turned into points in about two plays and. That was, a, that was a pretty big turning point in the game as far as momentum goes. You talk about your one-two punch on the running backs. They've got a pretty good one, too, uh, with Graham and Carter. How do you defend that? Well, you just try and contain it. I don't know that you can shut either one of those guys down. They're amazing players. Um, you know, they got a great offensive line. They're big. They're strong. They get off the ball. Um, oh shoot, I think I might be able to run for 100 yards behind their offensive line, but... <laughs> Um, you know, I, I, you know, they got a, an all American coach, a hall of fame coach coaching them too. And, um, you know, they're, they're really talented up front, but yeah, Carter's so fast. And if you give him a little bit of a seam, he seems to turn everything into a touchdown. Um, you know, um, the other back, I think it's Graham, like you said, he, he's a pounder a little bit more. Um, you know, he breaks a lot of arm tackles. He, he's really good at getting downhill off a, off a horizontal cut to a vertical cut and, um, they, you know, and both those quarterbacks are capable of running too. I don't think they get enough credit either. So, um, you know, I look at the capital team and everywhere, I don't see a hole on at any position. I don't, there's not a weakness. There's not a, there's not a guy you can just target. Um, they're all really good football players. How do you, what can you expose defensively on them? You know, I don't know. I, there's not, you know, there's not much to expose that. You know, they're always sound. They don't blitz a lot, and they don't need to because they can get a lot of pressure with their front four. Um, I think, you know, they have about a bajillion sacks this year, and, um, you know, they got Talon Marsh in the middle. They got the, uh, the gross kid. I mean, all, all four of their, their defensive linemen are, are um, really good football players, and um, I just don't know that – I just don't know that you can stop them consistently. Um but you gotta you gotta try and slow them down. You gotta make them run sideline to sideline a little bit. Um, you know, you gotta be able to create some some big plays in the passing game. Kyle Mahelish, uh, is, is it coaching in his first state championship as a head coach? What advice would you give him? Um, I wouldn't give him any advice. He's probably <laughs> been in more state championship games than me. Yeah, but he's co- uh, he's the head coach for the first time. It's a different. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if that changes anything. He's got so much experience in big games, you know. And I, I don't know. I give Kyle a lot of credit. You know, I, right out of the gate when he took over, they went to the semifinals three straight years, and um, they're, they're no slouches. I think people people kind of act like they've really fallen off, and they haven't. I mean, they've been right there year after year after year. He hasn't let them slip, and um, you know. So I wouldn't ask him, I wouldn't give him any advice. He already knows it all, I feel like. So I'm just going to, maybe I'd ask him for advice. Maybe that's what I should do. <laughs> Levi Weshy joining us, Mike Miller, State Farm Hotline. Do you wish this game was at home because you could have college game day show up on your set, on your field Friday night? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish it was at home because we had won all of our games during the regular season like Capitol did. But beyond that, you know, I, I think, you know, um, I think limiting the no- outside noise and some of the distractions and trying to keep it as normal as possible mm. is important. And uh, if game day showed up, I don't know if there'd be anything normal about it. So um, we're just trying to eliminate the distraction and be able to focus on a, uh, obviously a pretty big game. A couple of final quick ones for Levi Weshi as he's uh, get down in the weight room at Bozeman High, the cellar down in the weight room, I should say. Um when you you've got kids on both cats and grizz, who do you root for this week? 
I'm sorry, what was that? You've got kids playing for both the Cats and Grizz. How, who do you root for this week? You know, it's interesting because I grew up, um, I wouldn't say a diehard Grizzly fan, but I was a Grizzly fan. And then my wife is diehard Cats. And now I've coached for a little while. i got kids playing on both sides, so I don't root for either. I root for, I root for Bozeman High kids and for a close game. Um, and then I just sit in a different room for my wife because she gets mad when I'm not on one side or the other. So, um, so I, I, uh, I, I don't, I don't root for either side. I just root for, for my, for the kids that I've coached to play well. Uh, if Lucas Johnson doesn't go, Chris Brown, a guy that you've had would be the starter. Um, and then, you know, you've got guys like Wellnell over there in O'Connell for the Grizz, Tommy Malott, of course, Taco Dowler, you coached against all these guys. How hard is it to defend guys like that and to prepare for guys on the defensive side of the ball like an O'Connell and well now? And, and O'Reilly, for that matter. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, it's really hard. To, it's really hard. You know, Tommy is one of the most talented football players I've, I've seen on the offensive side of the ball in a long time. You know, I think um, he's, he's, he's special. And uh, you got to... Always got to keep him contained. You got to limit his big plays. You got to tackle well. Um, and then, as far as those defensive guys, you know, what, with what the Grizzlies do on defense and some of what the Cats do on defense, it, it's more about just, you know, I think you're, gonna, you're not going to be able to put together a lot of like 10 and 15 play drives, I don't think. You got to find a way to manufacture an explosive. Because if you sit out there and you let those defenses dial you up or you're getting third and long, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be rough for you. So I think you got to find a way to manufacture some big plays and, and not try and have to go 15, 10 plays every single time you're going down the field. Or eventually, those defenses are talented enough. They're going to put you in a bad spot. Well, looking forward to uh, the game tomorrow night. It'll be on the NFHS Network. Uh, Levi Weshi, the Bozeman High football coach, uh, appreciate it. And uh, I have not forgot to send you my address yet. I just... Uh, been a little been a little busy so i'll wait until no. the season's over you've been really busy so i'll wait you know i appreciate that and whenever you get a chance we'll make sure we get you a couple of helmets sounds good thanks coach good luck on friday night all right thank you have a good one levi weshi joining us mike miller state farm hotline it's not just a bundle it's your home it's your auto it's your life mike understands that get a hold of mike miller state farm helena today it's going to be a good one. 7 o'clock kickoff Friday night under the lights at Vigilante. Frozen tundra of Vigilante Field. It's, uh, oof. And I just saw this. Uh, what do we got? A wind chill advisory um, tonight and tomorrow. Is that right? Uh, from midnight tonight to 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Wind chills as low as 20 below. It's still fall in Montana, but, oh, man. All right, quick break. We'll come back. Predictions for the state championship weekend. We'll wrap things up, get you set for next week coming up. This is the Jason Walker Show. This segment brought to you by Rutgers Furniture. Storewide savings are what you'll find when you shop for new home furnishings at Rutgers Furniture. This means tremendous values on Helena's largest in-stock selection of home furnishings. When you shop Rutgers, you'll find storewide savings on the furniture you want for every room in your home. And you'll also find our selection of Serta iComfort, the most comfortable beds in Helena. 12-month financing is available with approved credit on most purchases over $299. Ask for details. You'll find storewide savings at Rutgers Furniture, 1010 Dearborn, Helena. Everyone knows about Dinner's Done Right and the convenience of the cook and carry cuisines. It's so easy to just stop by and you have something for dinner that night. But there's also one more thing you need to know about. Dinner's Done Right Grab and Go Salad Bar. Yes, I said salad bar. Always the freshest ingredients along with a daily soup and nacho bar too. So the next time you are in a rush or you just want to eat healthy, stop by Dinner's Done Right for the soup, salad, and nacho bar. For monthly menus and more info, it's dinnersdoneright.com. Fall is officially here, and now is the perfect time to get your rig tuned up before the big hunt. That means a lift kit from Auto Concepts. An Auto Concepts lift kit will help take you places only the animals can go. And when you do get that big one, make sure you have help to get a home with a winch to pull it out. Or maybe you'll be a good friend and help pull someone out of the snowbank. Check out AutoConceptsHelena.com for more ideas. Auto Concepts, the auto enhancement professionals. 
L&P Grocery offers Boulder a convenient shopping experience, whether you're stopping in for a few things or stocking up for the week ahead. From fresh produce and meat to all the staples you need to feed your family, you'll find it here. L&P Grocery is also proud to have partnerships with local brands and carry products unique to the area. Stop by to exchange propane tanks, pick up fishing tackle, grab your prescription, or get your photo taken at the pitcher kiosk. They're delighted to be the one-stop shop for local area Boulder residents who want to support local business. Visit lnpgrocery.com and at 215 North Main Street. Who doesn't love being number one? When your team's dominating the standings or your favorite band rocks the charts at number one, it feels good, right? Kind of like how it feels when you have auto insurance with State Farm. Because making you feel like number one is an honor your local State Farm agent takes seriously. Through the good times and not so good, your State Farm agent's proud to be here to help life go right. Call State Farm agent Mike Miller in Helena today. Do you love to look at photos of Montana from animals to landscapes and more? Are you looking for a place to get your senior pictures or family portraits done? Are you a business owner looking to upgrade the decor in your offices? Well, look no further than Mark LaRoe Photography. Mark has been shooting beautiful photos all across the Treasure State from rodeos to portraits and would love to work with you. Visit MarkLaRoePhotography.com to see many masterpieces of his work, then give him a call to schedule your own photo shoot. Or to purchase one of his fantastic pieces, stop by Spirit of the Big Sky Gallery on Custer in Helena. MarkLaRoePhotography.com Strength, beauty, grit, superior craftsmanship. Our homes have it all. At Montana Custom Log Homes, if you can dream it, we can build it. With three divisions and over 50 years experience, we've got you covered. From a showcase home to a small cabin, we make your vision a reality. Because every cowboy wants a castle for his queen. Montana Custom Log Homes, crafting homes that last for generations. Yes, it's true that Montana is a long way from the Gulf Coast, but you can bring that Cajun flavor home with a stop at Cafe Zydeco. From po' boys to classic sandwiches, Cafe Zydeco has all the best Cajun in town. Are you in the mood for seafood gumbo or crawfish etouffee? Maybe you're craving jambalaya with some shrimp and grits. Head in for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or call ahead for pickup or delivery. Cafe Zydeco will fix all your southern cravings, even on a chilly Montana day. Cafe Zydeco is a proud sponsor of The Jason Walker Show. Summer, the season to work hard, play hard. The days are heating up and getting longer. The smell of fresh cut grass, the hot sun on your skin. <laughs> we kidding. We all know you're really thinking about having fun and relaxing at the Copper Club Casino. Meet your friends for a cold one. Play a fiver or two. When you want great service, cold drinks, and fun entertainment, this is the place. The Copper Club Casino, where everybody knows your name any time of year. On Euclid, across from Mulundi Center, the Copper Club Casino. This is the Jason Walker Show. Welcome back. Final segment on a Thursday, Jason Walker Show, getting you set for uh, the weekend state championship weekend in the state of Montana. Woo! Ten high school teams, five big games. Of course, Cat Grizz game. And we've talked about this. It's the Cat Grizz game. It's not Grizz Cat. It's Cat Grizz, Montana, Montana State. See, each of you gets your name first. But Cat Grizz just rolls off the tongue, like Montana, Montana State. You go alphabetically sometimes. It just makes more sense. Stop with this. And, and we've brought up this before. Flint Rasmussen's been on a couple of times. Let's stop the FTG, FTC. Root for whoever you want. I know Grizz fan complains about the eat blank Grizz, go cats, go. That's just funny. You know, you can do the same thing. Eat blank cats, go Grizz, go. But the FTC and the FTG need to go away. Which reminds me. When you win... Don't don't be this guy, okay? Um, this is from after the Cat Grizz game back in 2018. Don't be this guy. 
and caught the final few minutes of the Grizzly postgame show from Learfield Sports. Danny Bedard, Scott Guernsey, and this set me off. What a great game, marred in the end by, I have never seen, Denny, a more classless football team than the Montana State Bobcats. From throwing your helmets into the air uh, at the end of the game, rushing the field, to parading around going first to our student section with their teammates, to jabbing the flag on our grizzly bear to hockey loogies i saw two dozen players spitting on the bear dancing you know you know kind of doing a, a horse pond the dirt thing they ought to be ashamed they ought to be ashamed and it is the most classless thing i've ever seen here or anywhere th- that i've been a part of all right so everybody knows i'm a bobcat fan and yes i know they're grizzly announcers but for scott guernsey to call the cat players classless is unprofessional. Um, And I don't have proof of this. Some Bobcat players apparently spit on the Grizz logo at midfield after the game. Guernsey was upset at that. You know, once again, I... I this is why Montana State's always going to be the little brothers because they just don't know how to they don't know how to do it. I mean, don't don't spit, don't act like a child and spit on the grizzly bear. I mean, really, you're going to do that? You won the game fair and square. Chote, you you made some calls that I was kind of thinking you were crazy on, and it, they 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 worked out for you. And, and and good job, you won on the scoreboard. But I tell you what, man, if I'm a parent and I've got kids and I'm thinking, hey, am I going to go to Montana or Montana State? And and you look and see the classlessness that Montana State had today. It's like, I want those coaches coaching my kids? I don't think so. Um, that's Scott Guernsey from Learfield. Uh, calling him little brother, say they don't know how to win. Again, it's unprofessional. Let me tell you one thing, Gerns. I sat in Bobcat Stadium, and I've seen the Montana players do the exact same thing at Bobcat Stadium. Now, I'm not saying that either one is right. Don't spit. That's just gross. But for you to have the guts to say what you did makes you the most unprofessional broadcaster around. You need to grow up. You need to look in the mirror. This is a football game, people. At the end of the day, the better team won. The better team outcoached your team. And you didn't have the professionalism, Guernsey, to accept it. And you have a history of poor sportsmanship after your Grizzlies lose. Let's go back to a playoff game in the 90s. Grizz are on the road. You can play the entire game. And by the way, the Grizz got beat. Uh, A guy with a plunger was making some noise behind the Grizz bench, and at one point you turned around and said, let me go beat this guy to death with this plunger. Uh, Another road game in the 90s at Portland State. You're ranked in the top two or three. Portland State, a terrible football team, beats the Grizz anyway. Some Viking players, listen to this. Let Let me see if this sounds familiar. They're dancing and whooping it up on the field. And you go into a couple-minute tirade about how the Grizz are so great and know how to win and lose with class. You don't. There's a lot more examples, but apparently this also happened at Idaho State not too long ago, I think 2003. The Bengal PA guy whipping up the crowd, just like your PA guy, just like I did at Bobcat Stadium for 16 years. And during that loss to Idaho State, you, you hear you say that's Bush League. And then you take off your headset and yell at the guy with a lot of expletives. You want to talk about class, Scott Guernsey? Look in the mirror and get some. There's also a gal on social media. I'm, I was I was going to get that. Yeah. You, you want to talk about class because you're a dis- that comments are a disgrace to the broadcasting profession. You want to talk about class? Here's this story. This from Facebook, and and this has been verified multiple times. Bobcat football players were hit on the sideline with human waste. Somebody actually took the time to go to the bathroom at Washington Grizzly Stadium and use a bag and then take it into the stands and then throw it at the Bobcat players. You want to talk class, Scott Guernsey? Why don't you talk to your fan base? little fired up. And that's not just a Facebook rant. That is somebody act- – people have seen this. There, I don't have any video of it. I don't have proof of it other than everybody's words that this happened. And I'm going to repeat this. this there, there's dumb fans on both sides of this rivalry. Cats, Grizz, I don't care. There's 
Dumb ones that ruin it for everybody. The FTC and the FTG, way too far. Flint Rasmussen, the famed PBR entertainer, he Facebooked it Saturday morning before the game. And I'll quote him, big game today. Fun to see all the passion for everyone's team around the state, but we sure can do better. The FTG and FTC deal has gained momentum the last few years. It's classless and, frankly, not that creative. I choose to cheer for my team. Go Bobcats. That's from Flint Rasmussen. Most fans in this rivalry accept at the end of the day, you know what? It's a football game. It literally does not affect you one way or the other, win or lose. That includes the players. There are more important things in life to worry about in this world than who wins a damn football game. That was uh, a little fired up. That was the first year we did this show. Jason Walker show back in uh, 2018. Don't be Scott Guernsey. And we, we've, re- we've had, he's had many opportunities to come on this show in the last four years, and he refuses to. Oh, oh they paraded the trophy around. Ooh. Uh, just don't, don't, be, don't be that fan, okay? Don't be Guernsey. Hey, the little one just walked in. Hey, monkey. Oh, she got a bracelet. Nice. I'm wrapping up the show. Me? Well, I'm talking to you right now. On that? Yeah. You're talking to me on that? Yeah. You walked into the studio while I was recording, while I'm doing the show. Talking to me while I'm downstairs? No, right now. Can I wrap up the show and then come downstairs? What's this? That's it's the medal I got. You remember? From golf. No, you can't wear it. It's on the no, it's on the microphone. That's from that's from the really good golf team, Team SoCal. I'm gonna wrap up the show, and then I'll come see you. All right, let's do some uh, some predictions. Let's start with Friday night. <laughs> Can you shut the door, please? Thank you. Uh, no, we'll go shut the door. Oh, give me a hug. Okay. Love you, monkey. Go shut the door. Okay. (laughs) Okay, monkey. Oh, they're kids. They're awesome. Um, (laughs) That's more important than a football game. Kids. Okay? All right, let's start with predictions. Do we need music for this? I think we do. We should get some music for this, right? Uh, Let's do, uh, what do we got here? I think we need some music for this. Ooh, let's do this one. Yeah. I kind of like this one. All right. Double A. Friday night, 7 o'clock. Capital hosting Bozeman. Capital number one defense. Bozeman's number two. It's a short trip for the Hawks. Looking for their first state title since 2019. Capital first state title since 2011. Hmm. This is tough. I live in Helena. I'm good friends with Kyle Mahelish. But I'm a Bozeman Hawk at heart. Bozeman's been playing great. Capital's playing great. Oh, my goodness. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. My wife's going to pick the Bruins. My wife picks them. She's a Capital girl. I got to go with the Hawks. I got to pick the Hawks. I'm going to go 24-21 Hawks. I just, I have to. Bozeman High. All right, let's go to uh, the Class A state championship game. Billing Central at Lewistown. I have not seen Lewistown play. I know they're good. I've seen Central in person. The Rams, power running back, speed at running back, pretty good defense. I'm going to go with Billing Central. And Coach uh, Stanton to get the win at Lewistown. Mm. Let's go 35-24. How about Class B? Florence. Carlton hosting Missoula Loyola. Florence the defending champs. Loyola had that great run a while ago. Big win over Big Fork last week. Very short trip down the 
confederate. I think I'm going to go with Florence Carlton Falcons at home to go back to back, and we'll go 35 17. In eight man, Belt at St. Ignatius. Two great offenses. St. Ignatius has put up 48 36 54 in the playoffs. Belt has scored 64. 48, 38. But the defense for the Belt Huskies, I think, is better. And I think Belt wins at St. Ignatius. We'll go 34 to 17. In six man, Broadview Levina at Big Sandy. Powerhouse Big Sandy. They've been good for so long. Broadview Levina up and coming good the last couple of years. My dad would pick Broadview Levina. I think I'm going to go with the Big Sandy Pioneers at home. Man, I don't know, though. I don't know. I'm going to take Big Sandy... 28-24 28-24 over Broadview Levina. Okay, so there's your prediction. Oh, and then, of course, you got the big big game on Saturday. The big one. Cats, Grizz, Montana, Montana State. College game day, ESPN in the house. Woo! Two good defenses. Two really good offenses. Cats put up 72 a week ago. The Grizz put up 63 a week ago. It's not going to be like that this week. Cats will win this game in Bobcat Stadium. Clinch a share of the Big Sky title. And potentially a top three seed. I think the Cats win this one. 31-21. 31-21. Cats over the Grizz. Just be safe. Be smart. Be a good fan on both sides this weekend. Don't be an idiot. Don't be a punk. Just have fun. Today is November the 17th. It is homemade bread day. It is baklava day, butter day, take a hike day, and rural health day. 1884. Cops would arrest the boxer, John L. Sullivan, in the second round for being cruel. Boy, how boxing has changed. 1926, the Chicago Blackhawks played their first NHL game, beat the Toronto St. Pats 4-1. Green Bay Packers on this date, 1940, become the first NFL team to travel by plane. 1974, Bonnie Bryant becomes the only left-handed player in history to win an LPGA Tour event, and I think still the only lefty to do it. Uh, Tom Seaver, the great Tom Seaver, born on this date in 1944, passed away a couple years ago. That is what happened on this day in history. We're almost at the end of the show. What did we learn? And what did he miss? Time for the walk-off. The walk-off presented by Cafe Zydeco, where the Big Easy meets the Big Sky. It is state championship weekend. We, uh, if you missed it, we're picking the Cats over the Grizz, obviously. We're picking Bozeman over Capital. Big Sandy over Broadview Levina. Um... Belt over St. Ignatius, Florence over Loyola, and Billing Central over Lewistown. Picking a couple of the road win, three of the road win, uh, games this week, or three of the road teams to win. Have a great weekend, okay? We had a good week. Thanks to Kyle Mahelish, Alex Eshelman, Sam Herter, Levi Weshi. Thanksgiving next week, we'll do a couple of shows before the holiday. Good luck to everybody playing this weekend, both in-state and uh, out-of-state. We've got teams traveling from Montana out of state for basketball. We've got Tech Volleyball, Rocky Volleyball in uh, the NAIs. Um, so good luck to everybody. And good luck to all the high school teams. Thanks for uh, all the great support, the tweets, the emails, text messages. We appreciate you. We appreciate our sponsors. Couldn't do it without any of you. We'll do it again next week. If you missed anything, go to jasonwalkershow.com. 
And uh, go Cats. But be smart, everybody, on both sides of the rivalry. But go Cats. The Jason Walker Show is produced by the Jason Walker Media Company. Any reuse, rebroadcast, or retransmission without the express written consent of the Jason Walker Show is strictly prohibited. Just listen, watch, and enjoy.